Ivan, there is something I must tell you. It happened after you guys left. Sparks was trying to tell me something as I began to drift off. It continued after I graduated from Mech Warrior School. I began looking for a good unit to join up with. I was recommended to a group called Warlords Tactical Faction by a commander at the school. I had heard they had an impeccable record. I found out that the commander of the unit was the daughter of its late founder. I decided to give her the benefit of doubt and they recruited me. My lance commander was Fist Captain Armando Gonzalez, a veteran pilot who knew her father. For some reason, he rather enjoyed being a lowly Fist Captain. I found out later on why. You're an aggressive fighter, but reckless. You're wasting your ammo, kid. Let me tell you something. It's best you take out your opponent as quickly as possible by hitting them where they're most vulnerable. Hit them in either shoulder. What? That's right. They're never really gonna expect that because they armor up where all the weapons are, but not in a non-essential spot. Just paint a bullseye on the shoulder and their history. Thank you, sir. That's something they never taught us at the school. So, she thinks just because she scores such a high rating, like, she's too good to be with one of us, huh? Sparks. I stopped in one of the hangars to grab me something to drink when I overheard someone getting picked on. It was a bunch of guys harassing a female tech. I wonder why. guy tell her that she thought she was hot stuff because she had a higher rating than any tech on base. They asked her who would want you, a woman, as her tech. Then this guy hit her. Hey, why don't you try that with me, buddy? Who said that? I did. Come on, I'm waiting. Oh gee, sorry sir. We were just fooling around. Let's get out of here. I took a good look at her to see if she was hurt. She was kind of scrawny and nerdy, but she had kind eyes. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. My name is Jack Bartlett. Call sign Ivan. My name is Alice Ison. Pleased to meet you. So, are you as good as they claim to be? I suppose so, but they're right. No one wants me as their tech. I was getting ready to pack my things. Nonsense. I'll take you as my tech. Really? Sure. I need someone reliable to help keep me alive. I'll go and talk with my LC and get back to you, okay? Sure. And thanks for the offer, sir. Hey, call me, I... No, absolutely not. But why not? I've taken a good look at her rating and she's very good. Well, for starters, she's a woman. This is no job for a woman to be fixing mechs. She doesn't seem to mind it. Well, it makes no difference. It's not in our budget. 
We can't afford another techie. Well, sir, that's where you're wrong. I say I need her, and if it means taking her pay out of my salary, then so be it. You serious? Do you know what you're asking? Trust me, Gonzo. I have a good feeling about her. Well, all right. From now on, she's your responsibility, and it will be taken out of your pay. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me too fast. She's gonna be a pain in the ass. Finally convinced Gonzo to take on Sparks as my technician. Since her pay came out of my salary, she was my own private mechanic. That didn't sit well with some of the other pilots, but I didn't give a crap what they thought about it. Huh? Time went by rather quickly, and the two of us became the best of friends. Warning. Warning. Oh no. One day after returning from perimeter patrol, I came under fire. My mech was severely damaged and I was forced System to eject. System failure. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Eject, eject. Eject, eject. Ejecting! I was upset about not having enough protection besides the armor on my mech. I just paid the thing off two months ago for crying out loud. Hey, thanks for the ride. Really appreciate that. It's a good thing I set some credits aside for replacement mix in the future. Yes, it's too bad about the loss of your mech. I know. Maybe I could come up with a device that would generate a force field around your mech. Maybe it would sustain an attack and your survivability will increase substantially. all of our free time together, developing a working prototype of what we now call Energize ah! Outer Shield, or EOS for short. Oh. Fortunately, we've told no one what we were doing so we had no interference from anyone.
also taking uh, time out for me to show her some self-defense moves. Uh, that can come in handy someday. She was a fast learner, I'm gonna say. Let Gonzo know about Eas. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I think he said something about meeting with Commander Bristol in her office. I head over there. Sure. Really? What do you think of this wolf in exile? Oh, they're a rowdy bunch of misfits. If they refuse to join with us, then they will suffer the fate as these fools here will. Huh? Invasion? 